I know. Man, I wish I could have some intense monster truck action, but all I have is a Game Boy Advance. How am I going to be able to do that? Don't fear, I know a way. <laughs> Who said that? You. That, that doesn't make any sense. Just review the game. What do you mean? Here you go. Huh? Monster trucks. For Game Boy Advance. Is this any good? Let's find out. <laughs> Okay, so before we review the game, we gotta talk about just the sheer possibility of this game, Monster Trucks for Game Boy. So, you're trying to make a Monster Truck game on a Game Boy Advance. That sounds very possible. They made amazing games like Mario Kart Super Circuit. What should be the problem of making a Monster Truck game? Well, you see, they decided, instead of doing your Mario Kart cartoony look, we're trying to make it super realistic and action-y. You're about to see why that did not work out as well as they thought it would. So when you first begin the game, they only give you two options. Quick game and career. No multiplayer option in a racing game. This is so great already. So, what is the difference, you may ask, between quick game and career mode? Well, quick game is just do the track and waste the track. That's it. Obvious stuff. Career mode is a basically the same thing, but you have to do them all in order while facing enemies. You have five things that you can add or upgrade. I honestly found no difference whatsoever, to be honest with you. So, I mean, they didn't affect me at all. So you begin with track one, Swampland, or whatever. So you begin. You get to see that amazing graphical style. Dang, look at that frame rate. Yeah, this is the this is the frame rate of the game. It's, it's really good. And the graphics are so pixely, it actually hurts your eyes as you play the game. And just listen to that amazing soundtrack. It literally hurts your ears to listen to the soundtrack. And if you think this game is going to be incredibly challenging, just hug the wall. Every single track. It works. Like, seriously, look how far away I am from them. I'm that kind of green dot you could barely see. There are all the red dots at the top. I am a fourth through the track closer than them. And all I had to do was hug the wall for the entire race. And you always have to sit through two or three grueling rap laps to have to deal with this freaking game. This game is awful. The controls aren't horrible, I guess. But you know something that's not okay? The track designs. They go from a freaking straight square, which lasts way too short. To a freaking turmoil of turns that last freaking five minutes. Combine that with all the boring graph, bland graphics and freaking stupid AI and honestly, eh, controls. This game isn't really fun. I would only suggest you buy this game if it's like 50 cents or something because I would not pay over a dollar. I would not pay a dollar for this game. After you waste over almost two minutes on one track, you get to buy more stuff that does nothing. Fun, right? This game is freaking horrible and you should never buy it. <laughs> 